Hello again, guys, for another session of Dramatic Murder. On the last session, uh, we got our boy Alba just kind of like having the whole, um, recently a whole ordeal with Kojaku. Because of the uh, last time we see Kojaku when he came back from his uh, from his search to gathering evidence, Kojaku wasn't himself and uh, suddenly um, forced himself upon Alba. So, which lead to Alba to using a scrap against him to stop the whole ordeal. So, after a pretty uh, dramatic incident, um, Alba just head back to the same club that he went there last time when he came for Kujaku. And there was the same individual that helped him get inside. But once inside, he took him to basically the apartment portion of the club that he was residing at. And uh, turns out that this individual was a tattoo artist that uh, uh, an old uh, friend whose name is Mizuki mentioned about him that this tattoo artist will come to you and um, or finally it turns out that he practically uh, drugged for Alba where he's left defenseless to be forcibly tattooed upon on against his will now right, right up to the moment where he's about to you know accept his fate Kujaku came out of nowhere with the help of uh Rin, the allmates, uh, Alba's allmate. And now we're having a confrontation between um, the boys and as well this tattoo artist. So we'll skate right to straight to it. Yeah. And bam. So oh, I guess we're left to add a fun decision here. So I'm trying to remember the exact moment, but uh, let's see. Let me boost this up here. Here we go. So let's see. So right now, physical check. Try to grasp my arms. Okay. Like this guy's attacking us. So, what do you guys want to go for? Want to hold on tight or think of another way? I just don't. I think hold on tight is like objectively for for our objectives in this game. Everything we should be doing. All right. I also just sat down after refilling my water and have no idea what we're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> I mean. I mean, Zach, just straight up what he thought on on the spot when he came back from a drink of water. Anybody else? Hold on tight. Hold on tight. That's clearly the romantic choice. So. All right, let's. I don't know. Let's freaking hold this man tight and never let him go. Like that one scene in Titanic. Actually, that's a bad comparison. But anyways, let's hold on tight. Yeah. Kajaku. I cling desperately to his arm. Let go! Let go! No. Jack who's lost in this rage. I need to stop him. Gah. Uh oh. My head. No, not now. I have to stop Kujaku. Kujaku. Hold on, I can't see it. <laughs> Oh. Calm down! Pushing through the pain, I managed to get a cry that stopped Kajaku cold. Ew. Slowly, Kajaku turns, and I can tell from his expression that his anger had subsided. Ugh. Relieved, I collapse into the futon. Kajaku races to support me. You okay? I should be asking you that. I'm... Kujaku pauses and let his eye wander around the room. Based on what I heard. You're muted, Ooh, sorry. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was taking a drink. Hold on. I'm... Okay, wait. There, there, there we go. <laughs> Curse the key buying gods. All right, so let's get back to it. Based from what I heard, Rioho was the one who did Kojaku's tattoos. I don't know if it's related, but Kojaku seems truly hate Rioho uh, enough to lose his mind. Why did Rio tattoo Kojaku, and why does Kojaku hate him so? I feel like I should all connect somehow, but I just can't put it together. Jack was silent for a moment before taking a look up at me. First, 
I have to apologize. I'm sorry. And for what I did yesterday, too. Hmm. Oh, it's some of the boys. Uh, who wants huh. to be Kojak boy f uh, supporter number one? Kojaku! Who wants to be number two? Going once. Going twice. Sold to myself. Oh, are you alright? Suddenly, the door <laughs> post opens and two men enter shouting. Kojaku smiles at the sight of them. You took your sweet time. Sorry. Uh. They Benny Shiguri members. As I watch, several more file in behind them. How, how did you guys get in here? Papa holds us favor, got in. I remember hearing that Benny Shiguri had police contacts, and so that's how they got in. Oh, it's having that event soon, remember? They've been recruiting cops for extra security. These guys snuck in as new recruits. It's just for the event, so no one's looking too closely. Easy for you to say. I was scared shitless they'd make us. Seriously, dude, every time they ask for IDs, I feel like my heart was going to stop. Haha. <laughs> Well, it all worked out, right? Guess so. But man, that asshole sure runs fast. He must have been Rioho the way he Naruto dashed. So he really didn't do anything to you. Only I can do things to you. <laughs> yeah. <Are> you see? <laughs> <He's a st> <laughs> so we're all in agreement. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Good. Where the hell could he have gone? Wait, uh, you mean the guy in the kimono? Yeah. And the guys outside are already after him. I got word they saw that guy in the kimono fleeing the scene. That's, uh, thought he was shady as hell, so they followed him. I mean, do you see the way he Naruto run and wear those skulls? He's gotta be sus. Good thinking. <laughs> That's been Shigure for you. They're uh, they're known for their teamwork. We should hear from them later. The rest of the guys are chilling in a warehouse. The cop gave us the code for the back entrance. I got it. Let's head there. I don't want to waste any more time in this shithole. Got it, boss. Elba, we need to move. Think you can make it. Yeah. Up you go. Kajak puts an arm underneath my shoulder and helps me up. Ah, uh, you okay? Ah, uh, let me out. Sorry, guys. Wait, Kajak how injured am I? <laughs> I mean... You're just still really drugged from the... Oh, poison. okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you had the... Uh, I don't know, you drunk like ketamine or something, I don't know. Some that... muscle relaxants and... <laughs> yeah. One of Kajaku's guys takes my other shoulder. I got your bag and your all mate. Uh, thanks. No problem, I love dogs. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get out of here. Riho's drug hasn't worn off yet, but at least these guys are here to help. Together, we'll leave the club behind. We proceeded through the narrow side streets until we reached the warehouse district. The light glamour of the main street is in a haze in the distance, and there's hardly anyone around. After we ensure that no one's watching, we approach the back door of one of the warehouse. The guys unlocked it with this coil, and we stepped inside. The warehouse is massive and filled with stack of huge boxes. As the door closed behind us, several men emerged from the shadows, and many Shigeru members who were waiting for us. 
Backs, uh, backslaps are exchanged. Everyone celebrating the successful rendezvous. Rendezvous. Coming back. Yep. Rendezvous. Yeah. The drug is starting <laughs> to wear off, and I can move again. I can sit down against the wall. Still, what an ordeal. As I'm resting, Kujaku walks up to me, and he just finished using uh, talking with the others. You doing any better? Yeah. Cool. He sits down next to me. I don't know what to say. I forgot amid the craziness. I still haven't figured out where the two of us stand. Kujaku seems similarly at a loss. Hey, Opa. Kujaku breaks a silence. He turns to look at me in the eye. Oh my. You, you gotta let me apologize first. I know it's not enough to make up for what happened, but... I'm really sorry. Hmm. Feel my lips tighten. That's how I want to play it out. Thought a lot about my relationship with Kojaku. There's a lot I want to say, a lot I want to ask. But I feel like I have to be the one to start. I want to know more about Kojaku, but that means sharing my own feelings first. I have to go at his pace, just like he always does for me. I can't be the one-sided. We're not little kids anymore. It's time for honesty. I need to be straight with you about something. I mean, is straight the right word here? Uh, I was about to say phrasing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a tinge of fear flashes across Kujaku's face. So, like, we go back forever. I kind of felt like I knew everything about you. But the thing is, and I know I said this before, but I don't really know you at all. Hey, Oba. I mean, I was stupid and full of myself, but realizing that, it really shook me. I thought, how could he hide something from me? From me. But that was wrong. You've got your own shit to deal with. I'm sure you had your reasons. I never even considered that. Instead, I pretended I understood. I told myself I had to trust you and wait until you were ready to talk. But I couldn't. I couldn't stand it. I want to really know you. I want to know where you were and what you were doing while you were off the island. And I want to know what's going on with you now, too. If you really don't want to talk, it's okay. Actually, no. It's not okay. I can't keep lying. Tell me, Kojaku. I want to know. Kojaku looks down, saying nothing. If he still refuses to tell me now, then it's truly be time to throw in the towel. No. I said my piece. I'll accept whatever comes of it. After what feels like an eternity, Kojaku slowly lifts his head and looks at me. Okay, I'll talk. I didn't know I was making you feel that way. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to drag you into my shit. And, to be honest, I was scared of what would happen if you found out. It didn't matter in the end, though. You got pulled into this anyway. I have Riho to thank for that. So there's no point in hiding from you now. I'm ready. Hear me out. I'm all ears. Wait, we meet at each other's eyes and exchange a nod. So, after we left the island, we went to live with my mom's family on the mainland. I've never told you this, but my family's actually a Yakuza. Oh, no! Really? Sick. Yeah, I was heir to the family. Truth is, my mom was just the boss's mistress, but his wife couldn't have kids, so I ended up being the heir. But I had no interest in taking over. And the boss's wife, she made life hell for my mom. We moved to mid 
Midori Jima just to get away from all that. But it didn't last for long. They called us back. Things happened, and my mom died. Ah. His mother's dead? I met her countless times when we were children. She was kind and a wonderful person. The revelation is so sudden, I don't know what to say. Jack sighs. You've never seen the tattoo on my face before, right? Yeah, but I have seen the one on your back. You saw it? When? When you were washing your kimono in the bathroom after I puked on it. Oh, that did happen. I was walking by and the door was open. I peeked in, not really thinking or anything, and that's when I saw it. I didn't mean to spy on you. Sorry. Oh, well, no harm, no foul. Bet you were surprised. Yeah, I guess. I got that one in the one on my face when I was back on the mainland. It wasn't my idea, though. Ryo's the one who did him. Ryo, I'd gotten good with my old man, the boss. He convinced him to have me tattooed. I didn't want to be saddled with the shit. I guess you could call it a karmic joke. But I didn't give a fuck about taking over the family. He pressed, uh... I'm sorry. <clears throat> he presses a hand to his forehead angrily, crumpling his bangs. And that fucker Rio. I was worried when he... Well, I was worried after I saw you talking to him, but I never thought he'd actually lay a hand on you. I thought my heart was gonna stop when I found you lying there. I told you to stay away, didn't I? Wait. After he saw me talking to Rio? You mean, when I was talking to him outside the club? Yeah. It was a total coincidence, too. I've been searching for him ever since we got here, and he just shows up like that. You remember those girls who flagged me down when we came in? Yeah. The tattoo and the blonde's neck was Rio's. I'd know his work anywhere. His ink always has this bluish tint. Anyway, I was sure he had to be close, so I thought I'd work her for information. So that's why you left to go see her? Yeah. Sorry for putting you through all that, but honestly, I wasn't thinking of anything but Rio. He vanished after my mom died. The tattoos and everything. I wanted to be able to track him down, but I couldn't find him on the mainland no matter how hard I tried. I couldn't get him out of my head and I couldn't stand the idea of dragging that baggage around forever. That's why I came back to Majori Jima. But not only does he show up right under my nose, he even pulls that shit with you. He trails off there. A dark shadow falls over his eyes. Family Rio, get away with it. There's no way to get rid of a tattoo completely. I'm stuck with this shit for the rest of my life. Tattoo removal, dude. It, there's a serve. It takes a while. It's painful. You can get them removed, though. Maybe this is a Japan world where there's no such thing as tattoo removals. Also, when did this come out? Because, like, that tattoo removal is, like, relatively yeah, new. Yeah, it's kind of new, and it <laughs> used to be kind of, yeah, it was Even yeah, now, yeah. you'll be lucky some residue, it's, but yeah. I don't think it's very effective, mm. at least from my roommate's experience. Yeah, well, on that, let's continue. He's the one who put the needle to my skin. He doesn't get a pass just because my old man gave the order. There's nothing that asshole loves more than inking people. He doesn't give a shit about anything else. Cry or scream all you want, he'll work that needle with a smile on his face. He's just a fucking psycho. Plus, it's his fault my mom died. <sighs> no hate in him won't bring anyone back. Really just wanted to forget it, you know? Let time heal my wounds and all that. 
But then he shows up like this and the same old shit. How, how much am I supposed to take, huh? Kajaku suddenly punches the wall. His fist trembles faintly. I'm just losing my shit when it comes to him. I don't even know what I'm doing. I even hurt you because of it. Trust me, I know how fucked up it is. But I've got these tattoos now, whether I like it or not. That makes him my problem. As long as he's still breathing, I'll never be free of hate the hate. That's why I'm putting an end to it. An end? Yeah. This little game's gone on long enough. But I want to be clear. This is my problem, not yours. I don't want to bother you anymore. Hmm. I'm gonna end this mess. What do you take me for? Boyfriend. I look straight into his eyes. Did I ask you to keep me out of it? Ellipses. Kajaka looks down, uh, perhaps ashamed. Don't put words in my mouth. I've never thought you were bothering me. I still don't. I'm actually really glad you listened to me. Now I feel like I might actually be able to help you for once. Thanks for telling me all that. Yobo. You know, I had a dream about this when we were kids. Haven't had one in a long time. It was night, and I was crying because Granny wasn't home yet, and you came to find me. You always came to find me, didn't you? It made me really happy. You were there when I needed you, just like a super dependable older brother. Wow, did I just get bro zoned? Oh, but yeah. But this time, I want to be there for you. I mean, it's like you said. You can't know what's wrong if I don't say anything, so you had to ask until I gave it up. I figured I should take a page from your book. If you've got a problem, I'm going to make sure you know that I'm there for you. That's what bros are for, right? Definitely got bro zoned. <laughs> God damn it, Alba. Yeah, 110% bro zoned. But then, Besides, sorry. you're already involved in my mess. Why shouldn't I be involved in yours? Oh um, my God, Alba. <laughs> maybe he really wants like, what are you doing, step bro treatment? I don't know. I stop there and study Kajak's face. He's been frowning the whole time, but now he sighs and laughs. What? No, I was just thinking about what I said before we came here. How I said you could tell me anything. Turns out I was the one keeping secrets. Pretty lame, huh? I guess we're pretty similar. Don't know how to open up. I think you might, you might be on to something there. You know, speaking of the good old days, I couldn't believe how you changed while I was gone. You got all cute. Really? What do you mean? Well, you grew a mullet, first of all. <laughs> well, you were just so little when I left, and you're all grown up now when I got back. And legal and everything. Oh god. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it was still a shock. You were like a totally different person. <sighs> Jacku flashes me a tender smile. You probably didn't notice, but you weren't the only one trying to figure out where we stood. I guess not. We really are alike, huh? But me, I wasn't really all that surprised when I saw you again. You seem pretty much the same. What? I didn't mature at all? I don't mean like that. It's like I said earlier. You were always looking out for me. You were my hero. Hero? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Oh boy, he's oh, blushing. blushing. Boy blushing. Hell yeah. Get that blush, boy. <laughs> Alright, we got our boy blushing. 
We're going in for the kill. Senpai. No, Ooh. we're not. No, we're not pulling <laughs> oh, that senpai God. bullshit. Like. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Notices no. your bulge. Ooh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I can't breathe. It's it's oh it's it's god. it's a terrible meme. Just you'll find it. Oh really my easy. god, Ed! I missed it. I don't want to know. No. It's a bold. No just, meme. Just 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 post it when you're bored. Argument. I I don't have to. You just literally put oh whoa well in YouTube. You'll find it real easy. Anyways. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> Anyway, that's why I thought you hadn't changed. That you were still the same old Kujaku. I convinced myself everything would be like it was. Nothing's changed, man. Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. Kujaku looks at me affectionately. Sure, we were apart for a while. But all the important stuff's still the same. We just grew up, so now we have all this other bullshit to deal with. Underneath, I'm still the same old me, and you're still the same old Aoba, right? Right. I nod, and Kajaka offers his hand with a smile. Put your cake on it, like we used to when we were kids. Remember? We put our hands together like this and... Jack wraps his long, slender fingers around my <laughs> hand. Holy crap, he's got <laughs> yaoi hands! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> slender hands. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll get the bat. I'll get the bat. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I never- I can't- I can't- can, Sorry. <laughs> Don't give up. I said that. Yeah, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was weird. Whenever you'd say that, I'd feel a little braver. Oh. Oh, his, he smiles bashfully. <laughs> hmm, what happened here? What? Your neck's all red. Doesn't look like a bug bite. More like a mark from some kind of needle. Kojaku! <laughs> oh, they were there the whole <laughs> Like, Kojaku, bro, calm down. I'm just getting all freaking romantic. You've been here the whole time! Yeah, you were just- Just thought I'd let you know! Yeah. You guys are- Before you start making out with your boyfriends. Oh, God. <laughs> Kajaku, hold up, the camera stopped. We gotta get new film. We gotta get new film. This is secretly. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Welcome to the casting couch. All right. All right, just then, one of Benny Shigure guys ran, ran up. Kajaku and I uh, quickly pull over our hands apart. What's up? I can't be having something interrupt my magical. We got a call from the guys telling that asshole on the kimono. They said he just went over- went into Oval Tower. Uh, we're oh, now. here we go again. Oval Tower. Isn't that where they control Platinum Jail? That's only part of it. It's also the Toei Corporation's headquarters. The Toei Corporation? Why would Ryu, R Pff, Ryuho go there? Never said that name in my life. You don't think he might be connected to Toei, do you? They're both uh, into brainwashing. Hard light enter Kujaku's eyes. Well, that settles it. We're heading for Oval Tower. Oh boy. Like, I can imagine Kojaku cocks his shotgun sword or something. Oh, yeah! But how are we gonna get inside? You can't just walk in, right? Can we go in through the back? I'm into back doors. Yeah, your guy went in through an employee entrance. Sounds like security's pretty loose back there. Trailing. Then that's our way in. 
got it. You're coming too, right? Oh, sorry, I... Uh, <clears throat> Kajaku looks at me for confirmation. Like you even have to ask. That's what bros are for, right? Jesus Christ. We're gonna start calling the other dude or something? Yeah, we're gonna be bromantic up in this encounter. Alright, Kajaka flashes me a silly smile. And I laughed. We break into Toei's HQ to find Ryoho. It's kinda weird how this whole thing has turned out. In the beginning, Kajaku and I were different things. But now our objectives are one and the same. All that's left of my end is to stop Toei's plot. Let's move. Hey, we're becoming more shonen in this route. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> we are becoming more that shonen Chris in this route. That is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Chris denies of your yeah. <laughs> like, I just hear yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it, am I getting? I have yeah, you're getting crisps like mad. <laughs> I don't oh, know. really? Unless yeah. like you're just at the end of it. It was very weird. Yeah, you know, I was hoping for like the yeah. Like, from like. <laughs> Big you know, bro world. will do his best! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I should do that. Alright, we head over for Over Tower. Holy shit. I miss, uh. Oh, Jesus. CSI Miami, by the way. But other than that, we reach the tower and we slip through the back employee's entry. There aren't many visitors around, or much security. Just two guards standing by to let the. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, are you okay? Gross! I'm what? sorry. Is this what happened? This is a literal brain fart. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh... They almost brain farted. I, uh... <laughs> or not fart, but no, sorry, burp. It's more like a, uh, sorry, a burp, sorry. I yeah. totally forgot, mixed up burp and fart. So, apparently I was breathing in too much air that I had enough to unleash a <laughs> ugly burp. You may have heard some of my dinner, uh, being, uh... God. I'm not... <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're gonna continue from that description. Uh, there aren't too many visitors around or much security. Just two guards standing by to let vehicles in through the gate. I watch for from a nearby alley. We'll crash in and keep security busy while you guys head inside. You sure about that? It might be packing. This is just what we heard from the cops. But they say the guards here only carry non-lethal, so it's not to upset the customers. Okay, but be careful. I need you, Dad. We're gonna be fucked when we find those freaking dogs with the laser beams. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Have you seen that movie Resident Evil? Yeah, we look like that. Anyways, no problem, boss. Let's do this! The Benny Shigiri guys tear out of the alley and sprint from the gate. Oh, uh, what the? <laughs> Sorry, boys! They pounce on the distracted guards on the scene, descends into chaos. Our turn! Let's go! I do like the fighting game sound noises in the background. <laughs> Kuchaku and I break for the staff entrance. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Halfway there, more guards appear out of block our way. Uh, stop! <laughs> Not happening! Kajaku blocks the guard's baton with one arm and punches him in the gut. This is going very strong. Uh, oh, I'm shit. I'm gonna stop right there. I oh, shit. I oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> a guard comes at me, and I quickly dodge at the side. He stumbles, and I throw a kick square into his back. Yeah. How about another? Wait, did somebody just oh. was that? Is that O noise from the game? I, that yeah, was what the, game. that's that's oh. yeah the, the noises in the background yeah oh that's, the punching noise yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's where I heard like a Ugh. oh no I did that too so. oh okay <laughs> that was the... good <laughs> we should be voice actors for like fighting game noises and shit all right I stop on his back as he lunches forward knocking him to the pavement Finnish Shigure members are going wild around us. Climbing on the guard's back and even picking them up and swinging them around like anime characters. It kind of reminds me of like Streets of Rage. Hilba! Kujaku calls my name. I join him in. 
I mean, I join him, and together we run for the entrance. Yeah. Doors locked with access panel. I don't think our IDs are gonna do us any good here. Wouldn't think so. How about we just smash our way in? Of course, that's it. Elba, another message for you. <laughs> Ren pokes his head out of my bag. Who's messaging me now? Wait, what? I try to ignore the message, but my coil activates on its own, and I flood the screen with notifications. Ren, what's going on? An unknown process is running. What the hell? The key to your heart? Oh man, this is getting very shown in now with that freak out of race. Oh. Suddenly, the door in front of us opens. It just opened. Is it broken? That message I just got said something about it, the key to your heart. I don't know what that's got to do with anything. But an open door is an open door. Kujaku glances back at his guys. Take the elevator and head for the top floor. We'll be right behind you. One of them has a guard pin. He lifts his hand and waves us on. Jaku nods back, and then we run through the door together. Oh, that's pretty bright. Or oh, back here again. One of the other side of the door is a long white corridor. But this is Ovo Tower. I heard, I heard for that the tower had some areas open to the public. We came in from the staff entrance, so there aren't too many visitors in sight. I hear the faint sounds of footsteps in the distance. Of the guards on patrol. Make your way to cautiously down the hall. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah. With all the racket we made out there, why aren't there alarms going off? Hmm. Neither of us need to say it. We were thinking the same thing. With that door opening on its own and all, this it has to be a trap, right? Also, this song is popping. Still. No turning back now. We'll keep moving until we see an elevator at the end of the hallway. Two guards standing next to the elevator. We try to slip into the side, uh, slip into a side corridor to hide before they see us. Over. Hey, uh, where do you come from? You here for soda? Ugh. Shit. Too slow. Footsteps are approaching rapidly. Jaku and I exchange nods. He runs into the hall first. I follow. Who the? Wow! <laughs> Kijaku knocks the first guard off his feet. Bro. Meanwhile, I cut the other guard down and run for the elevator. <laughs> oh god. Did he just like fucking the weird roundhouse? That was very good. I like that. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Uh, I, I love doing like wacky characters when they're in distress. So I'd be like, I reach out and call the smack the call button. Whoa! Something like that. Oh, oh shit. You look like you could use a nap. The second guard starts to rise and Jack knocks him out with a blow to the back of the head. Then he pulls a sword from his back and sheaves and delivers a, a punishing blow to the first guard's gut. Bleh. Kajaku! The elevator turn is here. A shout to Kajaku. I jump inside and hit the button to close the doors. Kajaku slips through just right before they shut. He that was close. I just realized his outfit makes very little sense. What is it the way his arm is just hanging? Like, oh, it's bothering me. I've been wondering that this whole time. This, Damn this it. Is, the, the thing is, like, this design, I remember it from Final Fantasy X, too. Like, he looks just like Aaron from yeah. that game. It uh, looks I like he's wearing a freaking cast and a sling. Yeah, and like I he's can't wearing a sling, but it's just, very His odd. arm isn't normally through the where it should be. And he keeps on pulling his clothes off to, like, fight. It's very weird. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of like service, what maybe. Auron does, too, from Final Fantasy X. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. He, like, throws it off his shoulder. That's... Yeah, he, like, throws it <laughs> off his shoulder. Like, he, like, uh... Oh, God. 
But yeah, I Just think got that's it. kind of like a fashion thing that most peeps do. But uh, fair enough. I yeah. thought the same thing with Oran, but I, I I think that dude's awesome. So like, I just, yeah, he's whatever. awesome. He's, he's also dope. tragic too. Speak to his like ah. laid back demeanor. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, now I feel like there's something to it. And he's the only one that wears glasses in the group, you know. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, but Kojaka doesn't wear glasses. Yeah, so... I was like Kojaka doesn't. <laughs> so, Not that we know of. <laughs> this is probably uh, Oran's he's got contacts. Like, distant like nephew or something. Real secret. You know. <laughs> Other than that, um, uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's continue. Ah, I didn't <laughs> say this line. No. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's, really late it's like you barely made it. I mean, I mean, I could pull it back right here. This... You barely made it. The top floor, right? Yeah. I press the button, and the elevator slowly begins to ascend. Hey, so I was thinking. Hmm? Why'd your guys say the top floor? Is that where Toei is? Or Ryuho? Gotta be one of them, right? They said they had intel, remember? I guess. Mm. <laughs> Kajaku looks unsure. I hate to doubt the guys from Benishigure, but I just can't shake the thought. Why did they tell us to go to the top floor? I mean, it makes sense for the boss to be at the top, so maybe that's all it was. The elevator gradually slows to a stop. I smell treachery. The moment the door opens, uh, begins to open, I tense up, anticipating more guards or those laser doggos. But all we see is another long white hallway. Check left and right to... Sure, but there's no one lying in wait. Jack and I exchange a glance, then start down the hall. After a minute or so, we reach a massive door. We haven't passed any other rooms. This must be the one that takes up the entire floor. We stop just right before the door. They sure are taking their sweet time. We must have been Benji Shiguri guys. They say they'd be right behind us. What happened to them? They have been captured? I hope not. We can't raid here forever. Luckily, we approach the door. Oh, that's bright. I look like we could do a convention here. All right. As I expected, the door opens to a single can oh, cavernous room. A man standing right at the center. Oh, this boy. Rio. The cheerful expression I came to associate with him is ap uh, markedly absent. His piercing stares gives a smile a predatory gleam. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, voice yeah, my dude. Uh, oh, did you hear me? Anyway, you sound really far uh, away. Yeah, you sound kind of quiet. <clears throat> I knew you'd come. There we go. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> All right. I was oh. hearing Aaron say motherfucker. motherfucker. I'm gonna. <laughs> I can't imagine it. I, I kind of like low key want to like clip that soundbite and have it as a soundboard. It's <laughs> really funny. Aaron, Pretty have good. you ever called anyone a motherfucker before? Like, seriously? <laughs> I think he's gone right now. Oh. Oh man. I'm here. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> we're 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 um we're Marvel we're very nation of motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might have said it in a fight in high school. Maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> you said it very sassily. It was like very sassy for Kujaku. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Ryuho. <laughs> Still laughing. Oh, you're joining us as well. Fantastic. Don't even start with that shit. I'm not letting you touch him. Oh, I'm not sure if that's up to you. Who knows? Maybe Alba fall right into my arms. Uh, Rio. Kujaku reaches for the sword in his back. Instantly, the atmosphere in the room shifts. It's happening again. Jaku's losing it. 
He's going ape shit. He rips a sword from the chieftain, grabs it in both hands. His body seems to glow with malice. Once he's mine, I'll give birth to my second greatest masterpiece. No, not second. Different. New. Like hell, you won't lay a finger on him. Now, how many times do I have to tell you? You really need to calm down, remember? <laughs> it's not a Taylor Swift song. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn, girl. Damn. It's Got the a, side of Aaron. The side of <laughs> Aaron. I've never seen this. <laughs> I'm sorry. This this is what it's like to for Aaron to protect the boy she cherishes. All right, let's go. The air trembles with the force of Kajaku's roar. I have to stop him. It's like his rage is consuming him from within. Oh, this is very shonen. Let this anger control him. If he doesn't snap out of it, a shiver crawls up my spine. I have to stop Kajaku before it's too late. Kajak. Oh shit. Uh, Elba. Oh, he's he's uh he's definitely uh no good. Yeah, brainwash. Uh, his eyes don't look great. I turn to see several Binish Guri members standing behind me. When did they get here? What are you? One of them grabs me by the shoulders. Something's wrong. I look into his face. His eyes are dark, empty, lifeless like a doll. I've seen eyes like these before. Mizuki. Can't let you do that. What are you talking about? If I don't do something... This is what he wants. He won't let anyone stop him. Not even you. Uh. Let's see this battle through. Together. This is what Kajaku wants? For me to just stand here and watch? No. I can't let that happen. Let go. I nearly managed to wrench my shoulder from the men's grip. And the others join him to restrain me. Uh. Kojaku! Oh man, this is becoming that's a lot of boy scenario here. Oh no. Uh, no! <laughs> okay. Kojaku's turned his head a fraction. Here's my voice. He isn't lost yet. Aaron. Yeah, we in. But is that me or him? What yeah. are you doing to him? Shall I let you in on a little secret? Riho indicates me in the Bini, Bini Shigure. You see, those wounds on their necks, they all have them. Even Alba. Uh. I force my head to the side to look at the neck of the guy next to me. He has a mark that looks like it was made with a heavy grunge, uh, gauge needle. Oh, uh, gauge, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, a grudge. Excuse me, I burped. There's something like that in my neck, too? Wait. Kujako mentioned something. Something about needle marks on my neck. Uh, it's Kujako. What did you do to them? See, I fell for Alba here the moment... Here the moment I saw him near the club. I just had to give him a little poke. Phrasing. Phrasing. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> that was like a old school Facebook super poke. Oh, my new <laughs> oh, I hated those. I freaking. Oh, I mean, yeah, those were annoying. Yeah, they were they fun were. at first, but they became annoying over time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's go to the next line. <laughs> yep. Just a little drug that makes the mind unravel. I was oh, dying no. to see how Alba would. Come undone. You showed up just as things were getting good. Shut up. The innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> this character is killing it. The innuendo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I knew you would sooner or later. I'd been planning for it since I learned you were here. Why are you so obsessed with me? Oh, uh, okay, real quick, can somebody uh, <laughs> take over the narration for me for for some time? Ooh, uh, I can do it. Uh, right. Go for it, go for it. Go for it, Metal. I had two goals, Alba and you. I needed to stoke the fire in your belly to feed my flower to watch it grow. 
<laughs> Phrasing. Whoa. Yeah. What kind of like effed uh, up <laughs> tattoos is this guy giving people? Just like I don't know, but he'll make a good uh, erotic writer if he keeps this writing. Right. <laughs> like trying to set up a threesome. <laughs> While you were out looking for me, I made a few trips to the old residential district. That's when I met your friends here. What? You didn't. Oh, I did. You remember my needle, don't you? The passion, the heat, how it sinks through the skin and pierces the heart. Pierces the heart. eyes. <laughs> my mind is so far in the gutter. I understand the uncomfortable part now, Zach. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All it takes is one little prick. They hardly feel a thing, like the touch of a mosquito. Why would you self-burn yourself like that? Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I post a funny reaction image in chat for funsies. <laughs> for my puppets before you broke into my room. With a gleeful smile, Ruho claps once. <laughs> One of the Benny Shin Gerdes grabs my arm and twists. Ow. Uh, that's not nice. <laughs> though I wasn't paying attention, I recall hearing a clap earlier, too. Is that how he's controlling them? <sighs> and now, their lives in our hands. You're not getting away with this, you piece of shit. I'm gonna bash your fucking head in right here, right now. <laughs> you really oh, have boy. forgotten my warning. You were just a child when I carved that tattoo on your back. That's why you were able to come back. Luck. Bruh, is he immortal? <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's like 20. <laughs> <laughs> but I warned you that would change when you got older. I told you to be careful. Or have you forgotten how you killed your mother? Oh, whoa. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Don't say it. How tears from Kojaku's throat. His body seems to double in size. Oh. Am I hallucinating? No. Oh. Whoa. Is he hulking oh. out? Whoa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You won't like me when I'm angry! His muscles bulge. His top rips open, no longer able to contain them. Yeah, we're gonna rip the kimono of oh, his muscles. That's pretty. Yeah. Bulge. Oh, yeah. Bulge. Oh, yeah. Bulge. Bulge. Guys. Uh, hold on, photo shot. Bulge. Look at his sword. With no, his yeah. upper body oh, exposed. Where's the mark? <laughs> Damn, look at that ombre, though. Woo. Yeah, that's nice oh, hair. Oh, actually. All right. The sight makes me shiver. Mm, yeah. Not the good kind. <laughs> what was a striking field of? Oh, I can never say this word. Ponies. Peonies. <laughs> Peonies. 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 Uh, before it has now transformed to something different. The flowers are glowing a brilliant red, the color of raw flesh, sexy, and the shape has extended to cover his entire left arm. It's like the tattoo itself is alive. <sighs> Kojaku's breaths are panting, wild and feral. His eyes are empty of all emotions save rage and hate. Kojaku! I call his name with all my might, but it doesn't reach him. Ah, incredible. Incredible Hulk. Nuho gazes upon Kojaku's altered form, a wide grin <laughs> spreading his lips. You see, your tattoo was something of an experiment. Not how I describe it, of course, but it was a personal request from Toei himself. Toei? A tattoo is destiny, I understand. A man carries his ink for the rest of his life. 
That's why you need to be committed, not just the subject, but the artist as well. Toei's been researching mind control for decades. Somewhere along the line, he heard about me. He came to me with an idea. He wondered if I, it might be possible to control people with tattoos. What? That's naturally. How does this work? I thought the idea was fascinating. <laughs> you were chosen for this little experiment. And now, my tattoo has devoured your heart and is becoming something new. I warned you about letting emotion take control. But you never listen, do you? And this is why you never go to an unlicensed tattoo parlor. Oh, well, Andrew has a... Okay, anyway. <clears throat> the tattoo grew with you. It was still immature back then. That's why the rage never took you completely. But now you're fully grown and so is the tattoo. The stronger your rage, the deeper it drank until it grew enough to consume your soul. The tattoo and you are one. Now it will flourish with your beating heart as it soils it will bloom beyond my wildest dreams. Sorry, got too into it. Your uh, host spreads his arms wide, an expression of utter bliss on his face. Hold on, I'm gonna uh, take a screenshot of this too. Looks very shonen. <laughs> my life's work is complete. You're right. <laughs> Why does it? Frankenstein's monster. For some reason, it'd be perfect. You could put like the Yu-Gi-Oh life points here or something. So. <laughs> But that's just me. Wait, wait, is that me? I think it's you. <laughs> I have no regrets. When your reason and passion clashed, I came out the winner. Now to claim my prize. Ain't no freaking prize. Take Who's me with this? you. What? I don't understand. Wait, who? Who's lying? Oh. oh. Wait, oh, I'm so confused. Ryo! Okay. <laughs> no, Kujaku, stop! But my voice is powerless to reach him. Kojaku raises his sword and charges. Kojaku! Oh. oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh, is he? Did, did he dramatically me? murder him? Do we have yeah, a dramatic murder? murder? <laughs> murder part of the, the series. <laughs> My favorite character. A sickening sound echoes through the room. But your favorite character is Rio. <laughs> Kojaku. <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> He's a good character. Okay, Kojaku, with the strength of unbridled hatred, has driven his sword through Ruho's heart or chest. Where it emerges from Ruho's back, bright rivers of blood fall to the floor. <clears throat> Ruho stoops forward, blood spurting from his mouth. He's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Killed by my own masterpiece. What an honor. <clears throat> A last font of blood, font of blood erupts from his smiling lips. <laughs> Font. <laughs> <laughs> and and then his head falls oh. limp. Rip. Kojaku tears his blade free. <laughs> A dark black stain blooms across the front of Ruho's kimono, and then his body crumples to the floor. Bye. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. I mean, dope. Problem solved, right? We're good. Like past it, y'all didn't have to kill me anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. <laughs> God damn it, Brandon! <laughs> oh my. I I couldn't stop it. <laughs> Nothing is born from hate. I thought you knew that better than anyone. But you, Kojaku, why? I'm really sad. That guy, like, drug roofied uh -huh. you. Like, let's just let him go. Yeah, you know, screw that guy. Suddenly, 
The Benny, Benny, Benny Shinguri's retain, restraining me collapse. I look around. Only Kujaku and I are standing. I crouch over one of them and check for a pulse. Not dead. They've just fainted. Oh, good. But what does this mean? It's like Ruho's death did something. <laughs> huh? I don't know how to... Oh. A sudden drowsiness overwhelms me. My legs feel like rubber. I can't fall asleep here. My neck is burning. Reaching up with my hand, I feel a swollen bump. Like some kind of bite. And it hose needle. All of the Beni Shingures were touched by it, too. Did Ruho's death trigger something in the people he was controlling? Ugh. So tired. A moment's loss of concentration will spell my collapse. Uh-oh. But I can't give in. Kojaku is still... I force myself to stand and lift my head. But what I see there petrifies me. Oh, damn. Kojaku is staring at me, his bloody sword in hand, but his expression... Kojaku? Yeah, he's going ape ship, guys. It's like he doesn't recognize me. Uh, he charges at me, brandishing his blade. Willing my body to move, I throw myself to the floor. Not a moment too soon. Something cleaves through the air above my head. Kojaku, stop! Kojaku readies his sword and charges me again. I roll, avoiding the blow by a hair's breadth. Uh, Kojaku, snap out of it! Uh. The tattoo has now reached Kojaku's face, the pattern growing more sinister as it spreads. Bro, this is dead ass a curse mark. <laughs> what can I do? Uh. Oh. Destroy. We're coming to the point, and it's probably the decision point, I'm guessing. Destruction is the only way. Yeah, do your voice, Ed. Yeah, I was like, what? what <laughs> Destroy! <laughs> I would, but I gotta be respectful. Oh, okay. The only way to stop he him? Destroy him. Destroy hmm. before he destroys you, my dude. Use that power. <laughs> oh my god. There's no other way. So, so this is like the most late hey, Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's up? You should destroy him. No. <laughs> You know, he's on his off day, and he's being called in, you know, it's just... Uh, uh, yeah, homie. Yeah, if I used to, to kill him. If I use scrap and Kojaku ends up like Mizuki... And then... If you said the right words back there, you might have turned Mizuki back to normal. If I had used my power properly, I might have been able to save him. It's time to brain blast him. Could it work with Kojaku? Hmm. No time for doubt. I have no other options. Let's go. I look straight into Kojaku's eyes. Don't think about my what might go wrong. I have to see this through. It's going to work. And this music is different. I repeat the words in my head. It's going to work. I'm going to save Kojaku. Kojaku! As Kojaku charges, I run straight at him and dive into his chest. His sword grazes the tips of my hair. Destroy. <laughs> Destroy. Ignoring the pain, I stare into Kojaku's blank white eyes and focus my mind. Kojaku. Uh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> hold on. Where's he hold going? On. 
Yeah. <laughs> Give, <laughs> guys, focus. Hold on. Get it together, <laughs> Kayla. Kayla, you can do this. You, you can do the, hold on, hold on, the voices hold on, hold on. for that thing. You can definitely do this. I'm going inside. Try not to laugh while I say my lines, you friggin' heathens. <laughs> so good. Just hear Brandon snicker in the background. I'm like, God. <laughs> I'm surprised no one said phrasing, but it was just too much. We were all yeah. thinking it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all didn't help. I was fine until Brandon cool. laughed. <laughs> all right. I have a fun, serious Something question is... here. Um, do you guys want to end it here and continue on Wednesday, or do you want to go the extra mile here? Up to y'all. I'm good either way. Yeah, same here. Mm. I'm good. I've been streamed at nine. Right. Go a little bit longer. Well, we'll let's do, do we, it. We do it for this scene We're here. So let's right in the start. action. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm curious about the dream yeah, just sequence. Inside, man. <laughs> uh, something is dragging me down like quicksand. When I open my eyes, I'm standing in a dark room. Huh? Sliding screens? The floor is straw mats, too. It's just like Fatal Fury. The room is almost five meters across and lit by flickering candles set in tall candlesticks. Amid the smell of burning wax, I catch the faint fragrance of sandalwood. Is this Kojaku's mind? It has to be a memory from the time he spent off the island. I reach out to open the screen in front of me. I think this might be. Uh, 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 oh well, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... I hear, I hear a voice, a woman sobbing. Is she behind the screen? Hmm. Wow, that was. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Heart pounding. <laughs> I slowly hop to the screen. I'm sorry, I'm not okay right now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I read that. Edward. Line. A heart pounding. I slowly open the screen. There. So stepping through, I find myself in a room just like the one I left. And then I feel something tickle my leg. Oh my. Ugh. I look down. Strands of thick black hair are wrapped around my ankle. W what? It's all my grudge. Right. To my horror, the hair begins to grow, crawling up my body. What the hell? I tear free and bolt into the room. The hair. No, not hair. It looked like hair at first, but now I realize that it resembles Kojaku's tattoo. I can hear it slithering after me. <sighs> Kojaku's voice! His sobs have joined the weeping ones! Where is he? Another sliding screen. Could Kojaku be on the other side? Shit. Desperate to stay ahead of the tattoo, I, I tear open the screen with both hands. Behind it is another identical room. The tattoo is in close pursuit. What is up with this place? Reminds me of that yeah. Demon Slayer episode. Yeah, exactly. I run, That's what I, was <laughs> I, <laughs> I run across the room and open another screen. Again, the same room. Cross between Demon Slayer and was that the Silent Hill play playable video? Again. Zach, what was the name of that uh, VR game we played that one time? Again. Oh, Rekos Fragments? Oh, yeah, I just kind of like that too. Holy oh, this, crap. This is giving me PT vibes now, though. Yeah, <laughs> Silent Hill, yeah. yeah. Go left. How far does this go on? Oh my god, this has got some friggin'. That one Japanese drama vibes. Yeah, oh god, I'm oh, getting sick. 
Oh god. It's not as weird as that noise thing. It's starting oh. like the, uh, after a given time, it's starting to look like a face, like the two the two <laughs> dots kind of make up eyes. Same thing. I see a jellyfish. I was <laughs> Please, for the love of God. Oh jeez. <sighs> <laughs> oh, it was just a really long, like, room. Holy oh, gotcha. shit. I think I would have rather had the, the drums from Demon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just playing the bongos, manipulate the room's gravity. <laughs> just like, right. All right. After running for what feels like forever, I finally enter a room that seems different from the others. The tattoo! I spin around. It pursued me relentlessly all through my fight, or my flight, but now it has vanished without a trace. And the screen I came through is closed. Am I safe? I let out a sigh of relief, then take into the room. At the center of the room is a futon. A child is lying there, face down. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, God. The child is wearing a kimono, but only below the waist. In the dim light of the candles, I realize that the child's back is trembling. The room's red tint is from more than just candlelight. Beneath the child, the futon is a wash of crimson. That voice. Kojaku? Ugh. When I approach the futon, the tattoo that I thought was gone appears behind me. I tense, but the tattoo slips right past my feet. Yeah, he is. <sighs> it swarms onto Kojaku's back and wraps itself around him like a black cocoon. Oh no. Kojaku! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Ugh. I hear a wet sound, and the screens at the back of the room are suddenly splattered with blood. Ew. People are fighting on the other side of the screen. Shadows flail upon the thin paper, and I hear screams and roars. Again and again, sprays of blood splatter across the screens. Are those really Kojaku's memories? What happened to him on the mainland? While I stand there petrified, the screen slides open without a sound. A woman peers through the opening, her face pale and wan, absent expression. She's wearing only underclothes, and her body is painted red from head to toe. She staggers toward the black cocoon. Ugh. She falls to the floor, hands grasping. Her slendered fingers tremble. Oh, Jaku. Did she just say Kojaku? She... She's Kojaku's mother. She's so emaciated, I didn't recognize her. Oh, no. Inside the cocoon, Kojaku moans, as if responding to his mother's voice. Kojaku? I try to approach, but a savage pain brings me to my knees. My back is on fire. So it pours off my body. I'm shaking so hard I can hear my bones creak. This pain! Is this how it felt to be tattooed? Uh, uh, uh. I can hear his voice. I have to help him. Uh, Kojaku. I climb to my feet, fighting the pain. I approach the cocoon and frantically tear at it with both hands. Uh, shit. The pieces of black tattoo scatter like charred paper. Eventually, Kojaku emerges. Kojaku, wake up! I reach for his blood-smeared back. Ugh. 
blood peels off his skin like jelly. Ew. Eee. It gathers on the floor, a dark red lump that grows in the shape of a man. I recognize it! It's your boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> the blob's head <laughs> melts and reforms like sugar beneath the flame, morphing into that devilish smile. I can almost hear his voice. His skin. What, what? His soul. It all belongs to me. No, he's not yours. Oh, Let please. him go. Oh, that was yeah, I think it was. Oh, my bad. Very like, uh... <laughs> uh, your, Stay your line, my bad. <laughs> uh, uh, <hey>. I got <laughs> confuzzled. Oh, it wasn't you. I accidentally said Brandon's line. Oh. Uh, I drive my fist in the creature's face. It bursts, sh showing the room, showering the room with blood. I uh, ignore it. Buddy in the editing room needs their ass kicked. <laughs> <Lord. laughs> uh, I ignore it. Kneeling behind, beside Kojaku, I shake him by the shoulder. Kojaku! Suddenly, everything goes white. I squeeze my eyes shut, but the light is still blinding. When I came to, it was already over. The light resolves, res resolves into a series of images, progressing before me like a silent film. Ooh. I see a big estate and a young Kujaku, his mother leading him by the hand. The man waiting at the gate has the air of an old school mod boss. And standing next to him is a younger Ruho. The scene changes. Now it shows that candlelit room, the futon where Kujaku lay as Ruho put a needle to his skin. His eyes are screwed tight, hands clawing at the mats. The pain must have been unbearable. Again, the scene shifts. Kojaku is standing, sword in hand, amid a sea of blood. Bodies lie at his feet. His skin, too, is marked with red wounds. That was the day he finished it. Kojaku's voice comes from everywhere at once. The pain kept getting worse. I passed out. And when I opened my eyes, I was standing in a pool of blood. Everyone was on the ground. I didn't know what had happened. And that was when I saw my mom lying there too. I looked at, down at my hands. I was holding a sword covered with blood. I'd lost my mind, gone on some kind of rampage. Of course, I was just a kid flailing around. No one was dead, though they were hurt pretty bad. My mom was still hanging by a thread too, but she... She never woke up. She died in the hospital. It was my fault. I killed her. Kojaku. I'm back in the candlelit room. Kojaku is standing in front of me. His body is covered by the tattoo, but life has returned to his eyes. I peer into them. I see sadness. When I stepped out of it, I couldn't believe what I'd done. Had to be a nightmare, right? But it wasn't. And that's when I really started to lose it. I wanted to. I wanted to die. That's what I deserved. I killed my mom. What right did I have to live? So I tried to use that sword on myself. It was the right thing to do, at least that's what I thought. But I couldn't do it, no matter how hard I tried. I kept seeing your face. Kojaku looks at me, face twisted with pain. I remembered you smiling back when we were kids and I started crying. I felt so sad and afraid. Couldn't do a thing. I really didn't want to die. But I wanted to live just as bad. I didn't know what to do. So I decided to return to the island. Couldn't even kill myself. I was a failure in every way. But I just had to see you. Maybe it was just easy to tell myself. 
easy lie to tell myself, but I thought something might change if I saw you again. When I saw you all grown up, I was so surprised, but your smile, that hadn't changed. It made me think that maybe everything would be okay. Maybe, if we stuck together, the pain would go away in time. But it didn't work. No matter how hard I tried to forget that moment, the candles, the blood, kept coming back to haunt me. And then, like a fucking cosmic joke, that asshole, Rio, showed up. The moment I saw him, it all came into focus. I thought I can't run, never could. I have to kill him. Then myself. I knew all along it wouldn't change anything, I knew. But I figured I already bought myself a ticket to hell. Getting a little revenge couldn't make it any worse. Well, I got what I wanted. But that didn't change what I did. And it won't make the ink on my back go away. Really, all I did was dirty my hand even more. So what the fuck does it in? Any of it matter anymore? I'm a monster. Why fight it? Kotaku lowers his head. I realize the black tattoos from before have wound themselves around his feet. Kojaku. What I saw was indeed his past. The party never told me about. I can't blame him for keeping it secret. How are you supposed to talk about something like that? How might I have responded? However deep our relationship, it was only natural for Kojaku to worry. And in fact... I do feel conflicted, not because I'm shocked by what Kojaku did, but because I don't know what to say. Words seem powerless in the face of such a past. The look on Kojaku's face is one of utter re resignation. The black tattoos have reached his waist and are now making their way toward his chest. It's like, like Kojaku is letting Ruho's work devour him. No. Kujaku hurt a lot of people. His mother died because of what he did. But none of that was Kujaku's fault. It was all because of that fucking tattoo. Ruho's work. And Toei's. But of course, Kujaku knows that. And still he blames himself. You can't change the past. But still... I don't want to lose him. Maybe I'm just being selfish. I don't care. I can't just stand here and watch while Kojaku destroys himself. Kojaku is a prisoner, both through Ruho's tattoos and his own memories of the past. His wounds are just too deep. He'll never stem the flow of blood on his own. If I leave him like this, they'll swallow him whole. And so, before that happens... I will destroy them! Oh, sure! Oh, shit. Alright. <laughs> you should destroy, bro. Destroy! destroy. <laughs> we all should say it together for fun. Yeah. Days. You guys wanna do it? Alright, sure. right, hold uh, on. And hold on. And here we go. Destroy! Oh, wow, that was very unsinged. Okay, on. you gotta do like one, two, three. Alright. Destroy it. Destroy. <laughs> okay. Destroy. Well, alright. Destroy him, you destroy will. Destroy him, you want. Uh, <laughs> destroy him, you will. Okay. You will. <laughs> <laughs> My power is uh, destroy. We'll, we'll, we'll have our only little uh, Yoda convention later after this. Jeez. I'll destroy Kujaku and free him from his past. Very shonen so far. I like it. <laughs> Ellipses. Whoa. I walk up to Kojaku and grab his shoulders. A lot of grabbing is going on. <laughs> grab something else. Okay. Slowly <laughs> lifts his head and stares at me with hollow eyes. Kojaku, don't give up. This is very shonen. This is super shonen. Believe in the heart of the cards, oh. you bastard. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this pulls out his so ego cards. <laughs> Believe in the me that believes in you. Believe <laughs> it. Go, Pikachu. It's like, Bonkai, I don't know, do some shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
god. They're... I'm the Sage real mode, Hokage. Activate. He's back and his is clothing Yay. too. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That's yeah. all we had to do? We just had to Jack. tell him not to. <laughs> we still haven't had a choice yet. Oh, that's right. There was no weird. Wait, that was the easiest one yet, guys. No, I'm sorry, all I, we had I don't to think do. we're done yet. There must I, there has to be a I, choice. I There's got to be something. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, that doesn't come until later. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The old happy. Happy boy. Elba, what happened? I are we okay? You sound like <laughs> such a stoner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where's that pipe? What happened, man? <laughs> you got cowbell, Look bro. Bowl. Drink this water. <laughs> Is this you? I think it's you. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's okay. you. It's over. Wow, I can't believe it. Sorry for everything. It's all my fault. It's okay. Are you? <laughs> I know, yeah, we're, Dale. we're very accepting. <laughs> Alba, please. All you did was tell him not to give up. Are you? I. <clears throat> okay, let's just let's just continue. Okay. Probably would have died a long Where's time ago. Where's the rumor? You. You are what keeps me grounded. <laughs> that didn't work this time. But anyway. <laughs> Thanks for everything. I owe you my life. Yeah. Kojaku? Huh? Elba, what are you? Whoa! Oh my! Whoa there! Are you okay? You, you oh, okay? Oh. Where's this coming from? All this hugging and stuff. You, you, you knocked me over, man. Sorry, this music makes me lose brain cells. Yeah, because you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. The look on Alba's face right now. Jackson. <laughs> it's okay. Just let it happen. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, what's okay? <laughs> I, what the fuck? What's happening? What is happening? Uh, I guess that's oh, Alba's uh, make loves to me eyes right it? there. Yeah. He's giving him gay eyes. eyes. I've never seen them gay eyes like that before. <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> gay eyes? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, gay like, eyes. Uh, is a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> oh, it's a thing. I I I just I just look at it as, as a you know like you want to ETF eyes. You know I get the bedroom that. Bedroom eyes. Yeah, I'll link a YouTube that's video a video later. Yeah, we'll get there. Oh God. Kojaku. Hey. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I know everything. Everything. Oh my god, we're gonna blackmail this boy? Everything. <laughs> okay. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> oh, god. oh, he knows. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. oh that's oh. a great shot. Hey. That's cute. Hold okay. On. Hey, Lynn. Oh, <laughs> that oh. oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> You That's the prettiest art yet. Yeah. Uh, I was me, turning it up. Let me get this, I lost uh, my wine. Hold on, I'll, I'll get back it's to okay. you. It's okay. It'll come back. Oh. Like, uh, it doesn't matter, Aaron. I'm get this screenshot <laughs> ready. Who wears a watch over their sleeve, Alba? <laughs> what it the looks fuck like are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's watching the steps. Oh, sorry. Uh, have you guys said this line already? I'm sorry. Hey. No. It's weird. I feel so safe when I'm with you like this. Like nothing bad ever happened. Yeah. Um, this is probably so weird. Wait, is this me or you? I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, I think I'll be because. Is it the opposite? Yeah, I think it's. I, it might be the opposite. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, this is probably gonna sound weird, but is it okay if I touch you? Okay. Uh, uh, these hands. Uh. Yeah. Can I? Oh damn it! Hand? That other one was your line. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Wait. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Mm. <laughs> Angle, what the hell? Come on. Keep it professional, guys. I'm sorry. That was <laughs> so very monotone, okay. and I realized that <laughs> after I read it. <laughs> no, it was great. It was a perfect... Mm. Yeah. Mm. Unemotional. It's okay. <sighs> Can I do more? Oh, Still in the building? <laughs> hey. Okay. Everybody has their own pace. Wait, where are your passed out friends? Are they still on the floor? <laughs> yeah. I just realized that Alba has my eye color. Uh, it's a pretty eye color. It's a nice eye color. Yeah, but... It's okay. I'm saying it's okay a lot. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Is it okay? What? Is it okay? Do we okay. have consent? Do we have consent? I, I, I think, think he's trying to okay. say it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Are we playing Doki Doki? What's going on here? Oh god. <laughs> What's What's Monica? Oh my god. How many times? It's okay. It's okay. Your voice gets so fucking weird. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Is it really okay? Are we sure it's okay? Are we sure the the fucked up brain dimension? Because the music stopped. Yeah, something's wrong here. This is a good old picture here, though. Is this a Ace Attorney moment where the game crashes? No. Oh, shit. The game is glitching. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit! Oh uh, shit! Oh god, we gotta do something. Uh, Wait, what the fuck? We have to spell oh, something. Oh, okay. uh, don't. Oh my god, that's a. Uh, don't. What are you doing? You just, just don't give up. Don't oh, give up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got that fast. Like that. There we go. I was like, damn, this is four Jesus four Christ. letter words with no hint. <laughs> Why is there but so it's not really. What is happening? All right. Okay. Well, we got it. Don't give up. <laughs> Don't give up. No. Yes, think again. Think yes. again. Well, Wait, think what? no, it's that'll right. make us retype it. That'll make us retype it. We don't want to yes. retype it. Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm out here like, bitch. <laughs> don't give up. Wait, was that all just in our head? In the, have, yeah. we, you, have we not kissed in the yet? Inception. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. Inception. Oh, my God. I'm oh, not okay. Yeah. I'm not. No, it's not okay. Don't, don't worry. I'm sure strap. we'll get there. I've never been so betrayed by a game in my life. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Okay. I've never been so betrayed. What, what's the name of that movie? Where... And on that note. Yeah. Don't give up. Oh man. <laughs> don't give up, Kojaku. Elba. You can't stay here. You need to face it. You know that, don't you? I'll be right here, there, beside you. Let's go back. Let's set it right. Alba. We're breaking reality! Oh. Oh. oh my god. Um, Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> We're back in the room at the center of his mind. The black tattoos have covered his chest. Uh, sorry, my cat. Oh God, cat. <laughs> oh gosh, she's calling me so bad. Sorry guys. Okay. Sorry. Your sorry. cat's giving you a tattoo. Yeah, it's more of a, riff, almost nearly flared my leg skin. All right, okay. Price is averted. I take a deep breath and look into his sad eyes. You know, don't you? You said it yourself. No matter how hard you try to forget, you can't change the past. Lipsies. My voice is shot. You hurt a lot of people, including your mother. You can't erase that fact. Stop it. You're being all cute and shit. No, you have to hear this. Whether you wanted it to happen or not, that blood is on your hands. I know. I've got so much blood on my hands. I don't deserve to live. I know that! Yeah, maybe dying is one way to atone. But if you die, that's it. 
That's the end. The end of your torment and the end of you. You'll be free from your pain. But is that really okay? Is it okay for you to run away like that? You can't stop me. You're right, and maybe that's okay for you. But what about all the people you're leaving behind? Like the members of your gang, and me. Benny and Shigeru, they'll be fine. When I'm gone, they'll just find a new leader. Then what about me? Damn, it's like think, six other boys. Think <laughs> about me. Got choices. <laughs> What'll happen to me? You. Don't you dare say I'll be fine without you. I told you before not to put words in my mouth. Because I'm not going to be okay. And neither is your gang. Your friends aren't as strong as you think they are. Damn, that's kind of sad. If you die, we're the ones it's gonna hurt. We'll have to carry that pain for the rest of our lives. I didn't read the rest of the line. The, heart <laughs> the heart's <laughs> not like the body. Its wounds never truly heal, not completely. It's like the, it's like the cliff notes of a motivational speech. Just... <laughs> I mean, you know that better than anyone, don't you? You came back to the island to heal, but you lost yourself the second Ryuho showed up. And now you want us to suffer the same? Then what do I do? There's only one other option. Sure, the tattoo made you lose your mind, but those actions were yours. That fact doesn't change. As long as you're you, you'll never be free of that. But despite that, we, I know you. I, uh, uh, okay. I mean, I, I, can, I can take over the narration now if you want me to battle. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> you Someone texted me. Yeah, you can go ahead. All right, let's see. During this shonen encounter, Kajaku grits his teeth and hangs his head. The tattoos have ceased their advance. Whatever you've done, whatever your burden, you're still the same Kajaku. If you ever lose sight of yourself again, I'll tell you about the Kajaku I know. No matter how many times it takes. I'll tell you how I always believed in him. So don't give up. Don't let that tattoo win. Slowly, the despair on his face fades. The light returns to his eyes. A black tattoo crumbles and vanish. I'm gonna destroy you, Kujaku. I'm gonna destroy that part of you that's trapped in the past. Oh, Damn. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, damn, he is aggressive. <laughs> Time to go. Oh, we just literally mind broke the boy. We have to, like, channel uh, that evil part of us into something good by, like, reverse Uno card. destroying things. Yeah. Reverse oh. Uno destroy. <laughs> reverse Uno destroy. <laughs> like, no, you get nuked bombed. I was like, what? All right. When I open my eyes again, we're back in the real world. Ugh. <sighs> Cause uh, tired of the bullshit. <laughs> My head is killing me. The room spins, and I barely, I barely keep from puking. Collapse at some point, lying on the floor, but my body feels so heavy, I can't get up. You're finished. It's over. Your voice, same voice that keeps telling me to destroy. Who is it? Is it related to scrap? Alba. Someone lifts me up. Blurry eyes. I see Jacku staring down at me. He looking down at me. Worried, etched on his face. His eyes. The eyes of my oldest friend. Thank goodness. Made it. Good 
Ja, uh... What's wrong? Where does it hurt? It's over, Kaiba. You're finished. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> You've activated my trap card. No. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> I think this is Aaron. Voice? Whose voice? Hey! Give it, Kaiba. Your time is up. Ah! 